This video is explaining about the artworks that I have submitted to AP Art in 2017. I submitted to AP Drawing and I got score 4 out of 5. I hope my portfolio could help you in preparing for AP Art. So for this drawing, it was about A4 size and this was a blind control drawing. So I looked at my hand and I drew my hand without looking at the paper. And I used black pen and after making the drawing, I colored with markers. For this one, I just created this sporadically. So I was looking at my feet and I drew this with a water soluble pen. And after drawing, I just tried to experiment on putting water on with brush. And then it turned out nice, so I decided to put it in. For this one, it was one of the assignments that the teacher gave us. So we had to take photos of the outside scenes. And this is a photo taken from a high floor of an apartment. And after taking this photo, I looked at this photo and I drew it with blue ink only. So I tried to show a wide range of shades using one ink. And it's also a small one, so it's smaller than A4. This project was actually done outside of the APR class. And I was doing a translation club and I was translating a children's book and I decided to illustrate it as well. So these are done with colored pencils. And for this one, this one is also outside of the class and I just made this painting based on a photo I found on Google or Pinterest and I just made it with acrylic paint. So this was one of my first acrylic paints I have done. So it's not really skilled and it's a bit cliche, but I decided to put it in because this was the best I could do at the time. This one was done for one of the assignments in the class and we had to use two complementary colors to make an acrylic painting. So for this one, I used purple and yellow. And if you mix purple and yellow, you get this brown. And I tried to use um, black and white as least as possible. And I wasn't really satisfied at the time because it was so rough and I couldn't really get all the details. But now I see and I think it's better because it's really rough. Because it has the textures, it has the light fillings. And this one was done for homework. And we had to make a composition of still life at home and we had to just make the drawing. And when I see it now, I see that a lot of the drawings are wrong, so they are too tilted and it's not really right. But at the time, it was the best I could do. And I used 4B pencil, I think, and here's me drawing. And this was done inside the class, so the teacher made the composition of these objects and we used Conte to draw this. And it was the first time I was using Conte, so it was really challenging to show different textures of different materials. So like the clothes, eggs, and metal, they all have different textures. I also tried to use a lot of mark makings, as you see here, because I heard that in AP art, mark making and making textures is also important. It's also one of the criteria they look for. This one was done on Scratchboard, so I used a pen that's not working anymore on the Scratchboard to make this. And this was a photo that I took when I was traveling in Turkey somewhere, and it was really challenging to depict all those details in the background and also when I finished it, I didn't have anything on the sky and it looked really black so I decided to add some clouds and also the moon. Now I see it and I think it's a bit cliche but I think it was a good choice to add the clouds. And I also tried to vary the textures here also. So here, like I tried to use various textures for each different element and this one was done with lino cut. I carved on a rubber board and this was a still life with a wood piece and this books. So this was also challenging because I tried to put all those details. It took a lot of time. I think it took more than 10 hours to finish this. And I had to go to the art classroom at lunchtime to finish this. But it was, it was really rewarding at the end. And this, is, I, and this is actually my favorite piece of the artworks I made in 10th grade. This was the first time I worked on the lino cut and after this, I kind of fell in love with the lino cut so I decided to use the idea for concentration as well. And the last one is my sister's portrait. So I first made the background with collage by using some of the papers I had and then I drew my sister's face with water-soluble color pencil and watercolor. So my idea for the concentration in 10th grade was to draw out all the dreams I have had before since my childhood. And when I was thinking how I should connect all those dreams, I was looking for something that could um, bring all those dreams together, like something that could be the common factor in all the drawings. And I was looking in the art classroom and I found this jar, a glass jar, and I decided to put all those dreams in the jar. So jar is for containing things and I wanted to use this jar to contain all those dreams that I have had. So for this one, I used Linocut and I added a lot of details in it. And some parts, like these parts, 
These details are actually just created by myself. It wasn't really there because this glossy glass jar, it didn't really have these details, but it looked really empty without it, so I just decided to put them. A good thing about making the lino colored is that you can use this several times. Because you have it like a stamp, you can print it several times. So this was my next piece, and this is showing how dreams are forgotten in bookshelves, like this videotape. So this jar is on the bookshelf, and it's forgotten by me. This is the first dream I remember of that I have had, and when I was 5, I wanted to be a firefighter. So to show that it was a dream from my childhood, I decided to make it like a children's book illustration. And in the background, you can see the connection between the drawing before. This is the next one, and I also wanted to be a writer before when I was young because I loved reading books, especially fiction books, and this is the sea of books. So the sand is showing that this is like a beach and a shore, and except the sand, I used blue to also to emphasize this part and to give contrast. I also think that this idea of using only blue watercolor also came from one of my bread pieces in which I used only blue ink. Since I did bread pieces before the concentration ones, I think it had a lot of influence on the concentration. And this one I got inspired from the service trip I went to to Romania and I was really touched by the pure hearts of the children so this also became one of my dreams. But apart from the concept, I don't really like this one because it's showing my lacking skills um, in some parts and there's there's too less contrast so if I would make it better I would make this more vibrant and this this more black and white so my initial idea was to make this bottle like a glass so it gives the feeling of seeing through the glass and this one is another piece showing my dream of being a movie director so I loved movies and going to theaters and and I decided to put popcorns in this coke in this jar to show that it's like a cinema and I made the end of the straw like a projector so that the movie elements just come out from here. And for this one, this is not that I wanted to be an astronaut, but I was always a dreamer, so that's why I decided to make it like this. I used watercolor, water-soluble color pencils, and pencil. So this one was created last minute. First, I made the background with these pages from a dictionary, and I added some um, grass and these elements with the papers. And I also used this one, which I have made before, with colored pencil. And then I added the lino cut print here. So the lino cut print was really useful for me because I could use it again and again. So also for the next one. So this was also done the last minute, and I decided to just use all the experiments I have done with the lino cut before. I just arranged them on the paper and just made the idea that and these are other people watching me and expecting me to become something, but this is actually like me wanting to be an artist. And this was the last piece. And for this one, I also used the lino cut print and collage. So I enjoyed using collage technique because it's faster to make, especially when you make bigger drawings. Also, it's more interesting. Also for the concept, because the concept here was that I was always an artist and I always loved to draw. So for my baby hand, I used these drawings I have made before. Also, these are from my textbook from middle school, so I have always drawn on the textbook because I had to always express something, I had to draw something. So it shows that I was an artist since then. And this is like me now, so it's showing the progress of me drawing and being an artist. At the bottom, I put some of my portraits and the drawings I have made before. And I tried to unify the colors just to make it nicer. And this is the end of the concentration. Thank you for watching and if you would like to see more of my AP artworks that I did in 2018 and 2019, you can click on the cards. I am also planning to make more videos on the portfolio I have made for Art University, so please subscribe for more information.